Two isolated spheres have mass 2 and 4. They collide, they move apart. During the collision, the 2, two kilogram mass have an average acceleration of 8. What is the average acceleration of the other ball, the 4 kg mass? If you find it hard to imagine what's happening, it's best to draw out a picture. So maybe you have one ball come in before collision 2 kg and a 4 kg. During collision, ah, this is the one where interesting things happen. Boom! They are co colliding. Got a sound. Got explosion. Got sparks. I don't know what else you want to draw. And after collision, they move apart. Now, notice how this collision question is a bit weird. They never give anything about velocity. They give acceleration. So if you have to look at acceleration, we don't, we can't use our usual equations of P equals to MV and all those uh, M1, U1, M2, U2, we cannot use that anymore. We have to look at forces during the collision. Huh. During collision, the first ball is actually going to push on the second ball. I push you, you push me, and this one push the other one. These are two forces that we call Newton third law pair. These are contact force. Only happens when you have contact. So during collision, you hit each other. This ball say, are you very painful? This ball say, are you very painful? Boom, ow. So that's force like you're pushing each other. So you want to say, you can look at the two kilogram. Let's say this is the two kilogram. Somebody is pushing the two kilogram and that is the other ball pushing it. So this is force from the, uh, the other ball, which is the four kilogram. And this force caused an acceleration of this ball of 8.0 meters per second. Average uh, during the time of collision. The other ball, you can draw the same thing. This other ball, I separate them. Uh, I separate, I make them further apart. This ball experiences a force from the two kilogram ball. And this is the four kilogram ball. Because of that force, then you will have an acceleration of who knows what. This is what we're trying to find. The number one thing that you can start off with, because we cannot use our M1, U1, MV equation, we go back to the basics. This is Newton's third law pair, means the magnitude of this force, because I don't want to deal with the negative sign, is exactly the same as the magnitude of the other force. In other words, the mass and acceleration of the 2 kilogram, or say the 4 kilogram, is same as the mass and acceleration, mass times acceleration of the 2 kilogram. So we just fill in whatever we know. 4 kg times who, well, I don't know what the acceleration is, never mind. Then for the 2 kilogram, it's 2 kg times acceleration of 8. So that will be 8.0. So what do we get for acceleration? This will be 8 times 2 divided by 4. 4 meter per second. So this 4.0 meter per second. So the best choice we can use is B to find our answer. The most important thing is to know your Newton's third law pair. La. When two objects collide, there is an equal and opposite force acting on each of those objects. I act on you, you act on me. So that's why we have this, this equation down here. La. And this is also where all the Momentum conservation equations come from, from this. Okay, so that's how you can solve this question. But that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.